this is Bird Buchanan with the Leader in Times, and today we will be bringing you a Liberal City Commission candidate profile. There are 13 candidates running for City Commission. With the primary coming soon, the Leader in Times would like to give the public a chance to hear each candidate's campaign, concentrations, and changes. Today's profile is that of Dean Aragon. Here is his interview. Awesome. Okay, so I guess just first of all, what made, what got you interested in running for City Commission again? Well, honestly, um, I, th I thought I was gonna call it good and mm -hmm. and uh, move on to other stuff. But I had a, a several citizens, a lot of people, contacted me and said that there were some good things going on and they wanted to see some of the stuff that's been started, mm -hmm. um, follow through to, to make sure that it stuff goes through and just to continue on with a lot of the good things that have happened recently in the city. Right, right then. So what would you say then was the final catalyst that made you decide, yes, I officially am going to run again? <laughs> oh, mostly just visiting with a lot of local people, a lot of the city staff and um, just people around the city that um, thought we had some really good things. We have mm -hmm. a good team right now and good positive things going on. and. Mm -hmm just asked if we could maybe consider seeing it through. Right, <laughs> right then. So what are some ideas or goals you have should you get reelected to the city commission? What are some other things you would like to see happen? <laughs> well, honestly, I don't, I'm not, I don't have a mission. I, I'm not mm -hmm. um, looking to make any drastic changes to anything. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would right. like to do is to continue supporting the city staff and what they do and the improvements that they're doing. They mm -hmm. we have a budget coming up and and um, several projects that they're doing. You know the the streets, the um, overlay mm -hmm. and stuff that the projects they've been doing. What they're doing on Fifteenth Street and um, the new soccer fields and stuff like that. So my t total plan is to just to continue to support them and what they do and mm -hmm. help them work within the means of the budget so mm -hmm. they're they're spending wisely mm -hmm. and um, but at the same time making continuous improvements like they have been in the in the past several years so. right <laughs> right then with this year's candidate pool being so big on the city commission end of it all what are some thoughts you have about that <laughs> well as i said in the forum the first night and I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. If if I'm successful, I will do my best to represent the city. If I'm not successful, mm -hmm. I will still support the incumbents. Whoever's voted in will have my full support. I will mm -hmm. continue to support the city and the staff and, and do whatever I can. Even if I'm not a commissioner, I'll still um, do what I can to help them. And, and I want to be as positive as I possibly can be mm -hmm. when it comes to um, the city and, and what goes on around here. Um, I'm not going to be a second guesser or a Monday morning quarterback or a, mm -hmm. uh, my job has never been to be a judge. Of course. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm not an attorney. I don't deal with legal problems. That's not what I do. Um, so what, what I would like to do is hopefully if I'm um, selected to continue on representing the city of Liberal and its citizens, it would be to support the, the city and and the continuous growth that we're doing and economic development mm -hmm. and support the staff in any way that I can and hopefully see continue to see the positive growth that's going on around the city right now. In kind of keeping with that, there's all of the development projects going on up north and everything with the IHOP and the recent groundbreaking for the old Chicago and all of that. So with all of that work going on, what would you say really excites you about all of those projects going on right now? What excites me is seeing, um, you know, I, I don't take credit. None of us can take credit as commissioners for of that. Course. It's it's a group <laughs> effort between the, the investors and the economic development. But what get, mm -hmm. I get excited about is when the investors can come to town and they can work with the city and the economic development people and the city can ha think outside the box and have an open mind and say, 
well, let's open up our toolbox and see how we can welcome these investors. Let, what incentives can we do? What's not going to cost the city money, but if we if there's something that we can do that's within our boundaries and legal, and we can make something easier on them, make them want to grow, want to invest in liberal, then I get really excited about that because I know they're coming together and the city of liberal benefits from it because it's improving the quality of life for everybody. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of criticism about, you know, we don't need restaurants, we don't need this or whatever. <laughs> to me, it's just an option. No, you're not required to go if you don't want to go of to course. it. You know, it's an option, but it's good to have the option because it's, uh, you know, it might be what's good for one might not be good for another, but it's good to have the option. And, and I really think it improves the quality of life and not only the restaurants, but if we're going to look at retail coming in and, and mm -hmm. the more that we do, the more attractive the city looks. So when other big investors come and hopefully some industry would look and say, well, you know, they've got some housing going on. They've got um, some retail recently, mm -hmm. some new restaurants. And so I, I want to be there too. Mm -hmm. Obviously they have something good going there because it's been some good positive growth, which you can't say for a lot of small communities that have suffered, mm -hmm. especially recently with the gas and oil. Mm -hmm. You know, the, what happened to them, um, fortunately, we, we came through it okay and uh, still doing some good positive growth here, so. Mm -hmm. Right then. With this year's campaign and everything, and the primary comes up in August, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. So with most of the, so with part of the election being so close and everything, what would you say you're looking forward to about the campaign for this year? Well, I'm pretty excited about having so mm -hmm. many people, candidates, uh, you know, 13 people. That, that just really tells you that there's 13 passionate people that really care about this city. Mm -hmm. And we're 13 different personalities and 13 different ideas and 13 different. And that's all good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I, and we live in a great country where the citizens have the right to vote and they go to the ballots and they'll vote and they'll choose who they want mm -hmm. and and I, I i know i've said it several times but i really mm -hmm. mean it if i want that to come out whoever's a successful um winner in the in the race is that that's because the the people voted and the people spoke and that's who they wanted mm -hmm. and you know going forward they, you know you you get out to the ballots you make your vote and Hopefully you support whoever wins. All right. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, just a last question I have for you here. Is there anything else you would want to add or anything else you think would be relevant to put? Um, no, just, uh, you know, like we started out talking about why I decided to run. I um, came to Liberal in 1982 to work for National Beef, and I worked my way up. An, into management job and um, I left for a short period of time to work for a, a defense contractor, a mm -hmm. civilian contractor job, but I came back mm -hmm. and um, it's been really good. I've been on the Chamber of Commerce and I've worked with the Cinco de Mayo group and I've worked with the, on the BJ's uh, board of directors for a while and mm -hmm. a couple other organizations and this has been very, very rewarding. I feel very blessed to ha be a part of the, the time that I've already served as a city commissioner. Um, I don't take it for granted and I, I really, uh, it has been an honor and hopefully I'll get the opportunity to serve a little bit longer, do a, another term. Uh, if so, that's wonderful. If not, then I'm very, very blessed, very grateful for the people that did elect me and, and give me the opportunity to, to do it for as long as I have. Mm -hmm. Be sure to check back here for the other 12 City Commission candidate profiles when they arrive. This is Buddy Buchanan with Leader in Times. God bless. And thanks for watching.